Rollo, this is a test. Rollo? This is a test, dog, of my audio setup. Yes, gentlemen, hello. Very nice to meet you, sir. Fancy seeing you here. How was your day? Did you have a good meeting? Yes, 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 good. Productivity and shit. Oh, that's my balls. Thanks, dude. What an absolutely shite day it is. But we will not let that stop us. We will keep on riding. Keep on riding, guys. Never let the weather stop you. Just wear sensible riding attire. This is the uh, the tree that I obviously chopped down with my bare hands, you know. I can cruelly chop the living shit out of it. No power tools were used whatsoever. <laughs> Let's go for a ride. Great. Don't troll me, bitch. What is up, biker fam? It is your boy, Dublade, coming at you once again for another video. And today, I want to talk about how to come up with motovlogging topics. Look how foggy it is today. Everything seems like, you know, it's, it's covered in a layer of fog. Something of like a horror movie or something. It's very atmospheric. Oh my god, my fingers are getting really cold. It's like, you know, you get the biting sensation on the tips of your fingers. And, oh god, I hate it. You can't really, like, it really hurts sometimes to, like, feel the, the front brake and the clutch properly. And it's just like, oh, it just becomes really, really uncomfortable. That's the thing I've learned, actually, is that if you really want to get, like, warm gloves, like, I fucking hate heated grips, uh, heated gloves, because it feels, wow, chill your tits, bro. I fucking hate heated gloves, because I feel they just, like, they hurt, they, like, the different, like, node nodules, the heat nodules, like, dig into your, into your hands. I find that really uncomfortable, and, like, you know, you can't really get, like, winter gloves that aren't heated, that actually, you know, thoroughly warm your hands, like, you know, the gloves I have right now are very expensive winter gloves. And, you know, they, they definitely do a good job, but it's not a complete final solution. So, one thing I've learned, it's going to sound kind of ridiculous, but if you get rubber washing up gloves and put them as like an inner layer, your, your tire is like so flat, dude. Put them, on, put them on as like an inner layer inside your gloves. It's actually incredible how warm your hands will be kept. You do kind of feel like a bit of a knob, especially if you've got like fucking pink ones, or like which I do, because I don't, I don't want to go out and buy some. So I just use ones that my mum had at home, so they're like fucking pink rubber washing up gloves that my mum has. <laughs> and I fucking put them inside my gloves, and it it, it works, honestly, like, you, it, it's incredible. Fucking Duke Blade, fucking motorcycling life hacks 101. Rubber gloves, oh, and zip ties, dude, you never have enough. Everyone knows that motorcycling is 99% zip ties. <laughs> 1% rubber gloves. <laughs> now... Motor vlogging itself, I find that if you want to have some level of like coherency towards your motor vlogging topics, so you want it to actually roll with the theme, um, you know, I, I think that you need to you need to you know come up with a topic beforehand that you're going to talk about. You know, put put everything around in your video around that topic, but it can be quite difficult to. You know, once you have a certain amount of videos up, I believe I'm coming up nearly on video number 50. It does kind of get a little bit, you have to really rack your brains actually to, to really come up with something, you know, worth talking about. So in this video, I want to give you some tips of mine that basically what I use to come up with motor vlogging topics. Now, disclaimer, full disclaimer, I'm not going to pretend to be some sort of like YouTube vlogging master. Some of my videos, you know, the topics are shit, to be completely honest with you, like they're fucking shit, but you know, I wanted to talk about it. First of all, I like to frame my videos around topics that I believe will continue to generate growth over a certain period of time and can you know be able to be searchable over a certain period of time and or well, indefinite period of time honestly so the video topics i come up with are, are you know motorcycle tips you know i have a couple review videos out chatting about my ducati monster because you know people 
you know people can search for that for a while i mean it depends all how you want to do it you know like if you want videos that are you know searchable for an extended period of time you know you, you do have to really think about that especially if you're a small vlogger like getting fucking uh views and like subscriptions and whatever it's gonna be really hard if you just basically chat shit and your videos have like no sort of uh searchable aspect to it so if you just like drive around just basically like rambling right, you know good enough videos i'm sure they're quite good i'm sure you know they can make quite good videos but at the same time you know you're not really gonna get as much exposure as you usually would you gotta frame your videos in, in that kind of regard so for me what i usually do is is you know if you want to come up with videos that are searchable for extended periods of time you know and are relevant nowadays you know, do basically do some research, see what other big vlogging channels are doing. And I know it's gonna sound kind of cheesy. Well, not cheesy, but I know it's gonna sound kind of like tacky and whatever. Like, I know it's gonna sound kind of shit. It's not, it's not really stealing. It's not stealing, you're just kind of like shooting off on their sort of, you know, tidal wave of the big vloggers' tidal waves, you know? So if you can get like videos related to what they've been putting out, you know, you can help yourself quite a lot. I do some research usually and we'll come up with a trending topic that's related to motorcycles and moto vlogging. And you know, if I have something to in, in, something interesting to say on that particular topic or whatever, I'll I'll do the video. Obviously, put my own sort of personal twist on it, put my own personality and my own sort of experiences in there. I would always say that whenever you come up with a video topic, make sure that it's focused on your niche. There are <laughs> vloggers out there who kind of you know try to be everyone's fucking darling. You know, they kind of try to come up with. You know, put up videos that have nothing to do with motorcycles or motor vlogging. You know, I, I have done one or two videos like that. And while, you know, it is, they can be quite good videos as well, you know, you, you're not catering towards your subscribership who have subscribed to you for a reason, which is, you know, if you make mainly motor vlogging videos, they would have subscribed to you for that. And you've got to satisfy that. You've got to stick, stick to your gun, stick to your niche. But I'll just basically, but I'll be riding, you know, I'll be riding around or walking around or whatever and I'll come up with a video idea just off the top of my head. I wouldn't even be sort of thinking about it. And I'll just write it down. If you think it's something that you could talk about, write it down. Don't forget about it, you know. <laughs> Potentially everything is a vlogging topic, right? So make sure you put everything down on papier. papier. <laughs> Sounds like farting. This guy's like revving his fucking car behind me. Look at that rude boy. Got a little hole in his exhaust pipe. Fuck, I just realized I had my blinker on all the way from that left turn. There's a cop car over there. I would try lane filtering here, but it would involve driving on the other side of the road, which I don't think the police would take very kindly to. Oh, fuck me dead, it's getting nippy. This guy's driving a Chevrolet. Not a Chevrolet, look, it's a Chevrolet. It's two words, it's a Chev. Ole, new car brand. <laughs> Fabulous hair. Wonder when you wake up one day and you say, you know what, today I'm gonna dye my hair green. Why not? That's a good idea. Green is my colour. I feel like green hair speaks to me. I'm just being a cunt, I know, but whatever. Fuck did he say? Bike! All wearing high vises. God, I'm not part of the cool guy squad. Shit. Rethinking my life choices. Oh no. Oh, they're probably doing their tests. Come on, I want to catch up with the cool guy squad. What also really grinds my gears is when moto vloggers, you know, they, they take one teeny tiny aspect from their video, you know, like let's say they see a girl, or a girl looks at them like, girl, hot girl looks at me, hot girl wants to ride my bike, hot girl, blah, 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 blah. You know, it's like, chill the fuck out, mate. Oh, fantastic bike, dude. What's that, man? Thanks, thanks. Bikes making some noises there. Eh? Come on down the driver, let's go. Oh, I remember when I was letting to drive. Oh, yeah, pick a lane. <laughs> some really odd noises coming from my cam belt shaft right now, it's totally bothering me. There's a really cool, like, uh, older building just here. What the 
I really think we'll make it for a cool video or cool fucking picture. Look how cool that is. It's really cool. Look over the old fucking old trees over there. It's like it really is like some atmospheric thing for like a horror movie, you know, fucking fog and whatever, and then the gate opens slowly, and then you have to go the long walk up the drive and hell yeah, dude. There's a horse over there. There's two horses. Hello. <laughs> anyway, guys, my name is You Blaze. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Obviously, subscribe. I mean, fuck it. Like, you know, why haven't you subscribed yet? You know, we're just, we just, I think we're nearly at 420. 420 subs. 420. 420, bro. So we're here at 420 subs, it's been great guys, honestly massive love to all my current subscribers and people who actively watch my somewhat mediocre videos, much appreciated. Much love to everyone guys, peace, I'll see you in the next video.